What's happening guys? Another exciting day here on the channel with the Rust Belt Mechanic. So today we've got something really special. I've decided I want to upgrade some of my stuff here at home. And one of my sponsors, SP Tools, is kind of giving me the hookup on a lot of this stuff. So new toolbox day. That's right guys. So I'm going to move the Duramax here. We've got Semi coming down the road. He's going to be unloading new toolbox and some new tools. Really cool stuff for you guys to see. Let's check it out. unloaded here kind of nerve-wracking seeing it all go up the driveway but you know it's not as big as the one coming off the truck there for my big snap-on box but you know it's a big expensive box coming off that truck up this driveway so we've got the toolbox sitting right here from SP tools this thing is gonna be killer you guys are gonna definitely want to see this one and all the rest of the tool heads crates accoutrement here in the back as well so let's get this thing open so you guys can see exactly what we got ordered and what's in store for the channel so as we saw in some previous videos the toolbox that I have at my house is a Milwaukee one from Home Depot that I picked up uh, a couple of years ago so it's you know it's full it's on it's you know got some issues with the plugs not working and stuff so Guys over at SP Tools and Cutting Edge Automotive, uh, they ended up hooking me up and we got this badass box. Let's get into this. our full socket set we'll get a closer look but nice foam inserts metric standard quarter inch three eighths half inch this thing's a bee's knees that's an awesome set to start off with There's that one we've got 11 piece metric flex head ratchet wrenches these I've been super excited to check out. And then we've got the SAE ratchet wrenches. Um, looks like an eight piece reversible model of it. Sweet. Oh baby. And another full set of wrenches, both standard and metric, six to 19 millimeters, standard spanner wrenches. Oh, these things, those things look badass. I'm so excited to do some reviews on some of their wrenches because their wrenches, I think you guys are gonna be super impressed by. They are like up there with snap-on quality without the snap-on price. But now for the main part, get this toolbox open.
It's the backside! Man! I have to turn this around. Do it right. Now we got the front side, and... Ta-da! This is the one. This is their Sumo Series. We've got the... Looks like... Oh, I'm losing it. Out of camera. We've got, like, the graphite gray, black drawers, and the blue trim to it. Need to get this thing open right now. Oh, these things are sweet. Let's get our keys undone here. All right, let's get some close up looks at this one. Alrighty, here she is in all of her glory. Like I said, it's like a graphite gray. The actual drawers are black and the drawer handles are a lighter blue, not quite teal. And then the casters are the blue to match. They are some pretty heavy duty casters. Uh, that pair over on the right is a swiveling and they lock. And then these are just a standard straight caster here on the left. Locks for all the major drawers are right here and the locks for the cabinet portion right there. The badging is a mirror finish both on the Sumo and the SP tools right there. It is a 56 inch wide box, 22 inches deep, and then the actual drawer depth inside of it is right at like 19 and three quarter or 20 inches right along on there. And then these are the tool sets that I ended up getting with it as well. Got the full socket set along with the extensions, ratchets, breakers, uh, the actual extensions, they're wobble pluses, but you can see we've got metric and standard in all quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. We're going to be doing a full review on all this stuff, guys, so don't worry about that one. Standard ratcheting wrenches with a 15 degree offset, and our metrics with the swiveling head ratchet wrenches on those. Then the st uh, standard wrenches we've got here, both in metric and SAE. It's got this really nice blow molded, not blow molded, but like foam mold with a like carbon fiber top. I think this is, this is like real carbon fiber. This is like crazy stuff, man. If it's, it's pretty hard. That's pretty awesome. It's got foam underneath and then they real thin hard top to it. it is, that is a pretty cool set. I really like that one. So like I said, we'll be going into some really in-depth reviews on these tools and a couple more of them that I will have coming along the way as well. But I have to say I am very impressed by this box. After I get it all put together, we will be doing a full toolbox tour here for the house. I've got a couple more tools. I know it's kind of a pain and, you know, crap's everywhere in here. But we've got a couple more tools that I want to get from the other toolbox, put over into this one, get it organized how I really want to, and then we'll be able to get it all put together to do a full toolbox tour of it. And the worst part about getting a new toolbox and tools is all of the trash that you have. My trash guy is going to absolutely hate me for this if they even take it. I'll probably have to end up making a uh, trash run in the old Dirty Max. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe sometimes this weekend if they're open. Get all that taken care of. And dude, guys, I am super excited about getting a full review on this whole stuff here for you. Getting it organized how I really want it. It's been a long time since I've had a really nice, you know, actually, I've never had one. Had a really nice toolbox in at home and had it organized to really how I want it. I've just had, you know, kind of cheaper ones. Ones from Home Depot, hand-me-downs, craftsmen's here at home. So this is my first nice toolbox I've ever had at home. So it's kind of exciting to have this and actually have a bunch of tools and automotive things to be able to work out of here in the house if I really need to. Yeah, I know, I only live a couple minutes from my dealership. But you know what? It's nice to have, you know, this available to me and not have to run in to go get all my tools. So I am super excited to get this put into the channel. Hopefully you guys are as well. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you today. We're gonna keep this one nice, short, simple, and sweet. Get you guys some information and just a taste of what's coming up here on the channel. Really exciting stuff, especially for you guys who love your tools, which me being a toolaholic, being able to show you guys some cool new stuff. Coming to the US market is really exciting news. 
Make sure you go check me out on Instagram. I'll be sure to have quite a few things and updates coming up here on the toolbox here at home, as well as new tools that are coming to the house over here over the next week or so, maybe the next couple weeks. So look forward to that one, as well as a full toolbox tour of this one. Dirty Max, that one's getting tuned here in the next couple of days. So that video will be coming out as well for you guys are here for all of the truck and Duramax content as well. I won't keep you guys waiting much on that one either. Thanks guys for tuning in today. I appreciate it. And as always, you guys stay awesome.